Hello dear scent enthusiasts and welcome back to our aromatic adventure. Today we're diving deep into the mesmerizing world of fragrant layering. It's almost as if I've been skimming this master plan from the beginning, all to guide you towards becoming a, a scent mixologist, creating scents as unique as your fingerprint. Now for the uninitiated, fragrance layering is a wonderful way to craft your personal scent profile. The science is simple, select fragrance with harmonious or complementary notes and then layer them. The art, however, is in the blend and the balance. So let's teleport back to our vibrant primary color fragrance video. The R's Fahrenheit carried the robust essence of red with warm spicy leather notes and Bulgari's wood neroli was our yellow, refreshing lightness of neroli with the earthiness of wood. Now, in the grand scheme of things, could it be that the fates aligned these colors for a greater purpose? Or was it just your friendly neighborhood fragrance enthusiast carefully plotting? We may never know. Mix the red of Fahrenheit and the yellow of wooden neroli, and you've got yourself an orange aura, full body, energetic and captivating, a whole new character born from the accidental choice of these primary colored scents. But wait, there's more, the plot thickens. As we recall, layering Nivea, Sun, and Chanel Blue create a vibrant, refreshing green scent. Also, this combination blends the warmth of the sun-kissed yellow notes with the coolness of the blue, resulting in a lively, invigorating green fragrance. A happy coincidence or a carefully crafted mystery? I will let you decide. For a unique and sophisticated fragrance, why don't we layer Bulgari Wood Neroli with Bulgari Aqua? This combination fuses the warmth of the yellow notes with the aquatic and marine nuance of the blue, resulting in a mesmerizing balance that kind of feels like teal. Now for the real thrill seekers among us. Picture the fusion of red Fahrenheit and the, the fresh grapefruit of light blue forever. You'll create an unexpected purple scent, an intoxicating mix of earthy warm and breezy freshness. Seems like this whole color mixing game was a well orchestrated plan. Meh. Remember the fragrance layering isn't, oh, that actually smells really good. That is the Fahrenheit and the Dolce & Gabbana. Ooh. That is the blue and the sun. And that is Wood Neroli and Aqua. It's pretty exciting. <laughs> now remember the fragrance layering is an art and it's all about balance. Spray the heavier scent first, then the lighter one on top. It's all about blend, balance, and the, the new color you create. I implore you, experiment with layering. It's an easy way of expanding your fragrance collection without making your wallet any lighter. With a collection of just, say, 10 or 20 fragrances, you can create a brand new scent library that's entirely unique to you. No extra spending, just extra creativity. It's almost like magic, isn't it? The world of fragrance is a playground of endless possibilities, so dare to venture out, experiment, and find your own signature blend. Now, as always, please share with me your favorite combinations in the comments. I would love to know what you are up to. So until next time, keep your scent palette vibrant, your mixology skills sharp, and keep an eye out for other coincidences in our aromatic adventures. Your scent is your personal statement, so make it bold, make it unique, and make it unmistakably you. Don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, share this content, and of course, make sure you have subscribed to my mailing list link in the description. My name is Will Wolvio, and I will see you soon.